Okay. So Nishche is asking the ventilation protocol in ARDS. So understand that this requires a very detailed video. If you ask, we will put that on the YouTube channel in a longer video. But here I will make you understand the basic principles behind it. So what are the targets in ARDS ventilation? Means we need to keep PO2 between 52 to 80 in the ABG or the SPO2 more than 88%. Now to do this, we need to optimize PEEP also. And we need to start ventilation as a lung protective ventilation. So in that, we'll keep the tidal volume at 6 ml per kg body weight. We'll maintain a plateau pressure less than 30. If the plateau pressures are going high, it, it can cause volume trauma and other trauma uh, to the lung. So we need to decrease the tidal volume by 1 ml per kg body weight. So we started with 6 ml per kg body weight. If the plateau pressures are more than 30, we decrease by 1 ml and we go up to 4 ml per kg body weight. Now when you reduce the uh, tidal volume to 4 ml per kg body weight, what will happen? The minute ventilation will reduce and the PCO2 will rise. And because PCO2 will rise, it will cause respiratory acidosis, which we call as permissive hypercapnia. We allowed the PCO2 to rise at the cost of saturation. Now the pH will drop. So what will you do? You increase the respiratory rate, increase the minute ventilation. So you can increase the respiratory rate up to 35 to increase uh, to keep the PCO2 in check and wash out the PCO2. But now you have increased the uh, respiratory rate more than uh, to up to 35. Still the PCO2 is not uh, coming down uh, and the pH is now less than 1.75. So when the pH drops by 1 point less than 7.15, you can use the sodium bicarbonate. So this is the basic algorithm. You can go in Washington Manual of Critical Care. This is the third edition. Very good algorithm. Do read more about it.